Austin. If you've been to Durand Eastman Beach recently, you might have noticed dead fish dotting the shoreline. Viewers have asked us what this means. Is it a fish disease? Is it pollution? Christian Garzon went to the DEC to find out. If you've been to Lake Ontario recently, you might have noticed thousands of these little dead fish in the sand. Enough of you have asked, what's going on, and is this a big concern? It's a mass killing, of course, so the question is, like, what killed them? Is it like an algae bloom? Others have said it's probably no big deal. We're used to seeing, um, you know, the skeletons of the fish on the beach or the sand. So what gives? Christopher Lagarde with the Department of Environmental Conservation says these here are probably all wives or round Golby, non-native fish at their northernmost point. So the springtime um, kind of fish die-offs that we see, we see these kind of every year. Now the DEC says this thing is actually kind of normal, seeing these thousands of dead fish all up and down the shoreline. And they say, don't worry, it's not actually due to anything like pollution. This time of year when cold winds shift the water temperatures around, it's a shock to their system. That's what causes the, uh, the springtime die-offs. There should not be any reason for concern. As, uh, as things get warmed up, the, the, the die-offs usually taper off, so when we get into the swimming season, there's, there's typically not as many of these happening. These springtime die-offs are, are generally not connected to um, you know, any type of pollution or, or fish diseases. In Irondequoit, Christian Garzon, News 8. Christian, thank you. And the DEC did add, the lake is just fine for fishing.